Thank you for browsing page 121. Today we're going to talk about the Fifth Frontier Flashpoints, an adventure from Mongoose for the Fifth Frontier War that's currently going on in their Traveler line. This is for Mongoose Traveler's second edition. It's a new look at an old favorite, a new look at Fifth Frontier War. Fifth Frontier War was brand, brand new when I started playing Traveler. And now Mongoose has taken it up and they're changing it a little bit. And they're, they're making it a little more... Um, derived from your adventures instead of just told to you as the original was. But that's the maturation of the industry. I, I like it. I'm, I'm really excited about it. I've liked the product so far. But today we're going to talk about flashpoints. And I'm going to say at this point, I'm not going to go through flashpoints. This is a brand new adventure, and I don't want to ruin it for anybody because I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed not knowing much about it when I started reading it. That being said, I'm not even going to show the table of contents on this. I'm going to comment on the book itself, but of necessity, there will be very tiny spoilers. Nothing more than, than you would pick up in the first four or five pages of reading. But if you want to know absolutely nothing about this adventure, I do recommend you turn the video off now. I will keep spoilers to an absolute minimum, but there are going to be one or two. So just a friendly warning. So first off, we're going to talk the cover. Love the cover. I love the Zodani battle armor. I love how insect like it looks i i like how sleek it is they i just think it really is good one thing i will say the artwork in this book is outstanding there's some really good depictions of industrial stuff and and stuff like that and and the zodani of course even the people i mean the artwork is really top flight in this one i i really enjoyed it i'm going to set this down now and i'm going to talk a little bit about the adventure I'm not going to go into details on the adventure, but I'm going to tell you kind of what the flavor of the book is. The adventure itself is kind of like Total Recall meets Firefly. And if that sounds like a good thing, which by the way it does to me, then that's what you're in for and, and that's what I liked about this book. It's got a little bit of the Total Recall stuff and the book even acknowledges that. And it's got a very Firefly flavor to it. You're, you're down in the dirt for a lot of this book. You're literally down in the dirt for a lot of this book. And you're uh, just working and, and trying to get your way from point A to point B with possibly being stopped by bad guys, etc., etc. So it's definitely got that kind of uh, drown downtrodden, uh, hard life traveler kind of thing, which I love. As the adventure unrolls for you as you're playing it, you gain more and more information and you find yourself in different settings. And that's where this book comes into its strength, in my opinion. The settings. Martin Doherty, who is the author of this book, writes a great setting book. He, he writes a great adventure, too. But in my opinion, his best strength is setting. And this adventure gives a lot of nice setting flavor. And for me, that's an absolute positive. There are chunks of this book that, whether I run this adventure or not, Chunks of this book are going to be transplanted to other parts of my games because they're just so good and it's so easy to just change a few names and dates to protect the innocent and, and push it over there that I'm going to be using this in other parts of my Traveler campaign. So that alone was worth it for me. The other thing I loved about this book is we get a look at life behind the lines. We're actually on a Zodani planet and we're actually dealing with what their lives would be like. Maybe they're not these big telepathic boogeymen that we've always been taught in the third imperium maybe they're just people trying to get from today to tomorrow and you know one foot in front of the other kind of folks and that was a nice job in this too that martin does some really nice flavor with the zodani world and we get a, a nice peek at how somebody in the consulate would live day to day and we get some great npcs in this with nice npc stat blocks we get a little high guard in here we get some central supply catalog type things in here. Uh, we get pretty much everything I look for in adventure we get in here. And it's got a nice old school flavor to it. And old school by me, that's always a positive comment. And I'm talking back to the early 80s pen and ink drawing pen of, of Traveler in the small pamphlet books, the Keith Brothers and such. This really evoked some of those memories for me. Now, I'm an old Traveler fan. I've been playing Traveler since 81. It's a great game, and to capture some of the old flavor 
in a book about the Fifth Frontier War was really exciting to me. So I'm I'm really excited about this book. I've enjoyed everything so far that's been done by Mongoose for the Fifth Frontier War. I'm enjoying our little ride through the Fifth Frontier War. And the fact that this adventure gives you some a lot of self-determination and can affect the course of the war based on the player character's decisions. As a GM, you're going to want to have a pen and paper always at hand and write down important key things because there are a couple of uh, pivotal things that could mean something to your larger campaign that are set forth in this adventure. So, that's about it. I'm giving a very positive review to this. This has actually been one of my favorite books for Mongoose in a while. Uh, I think they nailed it, and I'm very excited to have it uh, in my collection electronically. And this might be one that I actually break down and, and buy the hardcover for as well. Um, I just, I really enjoy it. So there you have it. That's all I wanted to say today about flashpoints for the Fifth Frontier War, the first adventure we've gotten so far. And if this adventure is any indication, we're into some very good things for the next couple of years in the Fifth Frontier War and from Mongoose in general. So there you have it. By the way, quick disclaimer, I don't work for Mongoose. Uh, I know they know I exist because they put some of my stuff on their YouTube page, so I know they know who I am, but I don't work for Mongoose. I don't really even communicate with Mongoose in any way. Uh, it's just that uh, I think you guys would like this book, and I, I like to say that. So that's it. That's all I've got today on page 121. Please take a look at the uh, Patreon, see if you can help me out there. Uh, just trying to grow the channel a little bit. I've got my eye on a background, but I don't have the cash for it yet, so if there's anything you can do to help me out, please let me know. And I think that's all I've got today. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on page 121.